Hi everybody, my name is Megan. And my name is Jessie. Jessie, what is that dumbbell for? Oh, you mean this very heavy weight here? Yes, that one. I wanted to show you how strong I am getting. Watch this. Well, maybe this weight is just a little bit too heavy. Maybe so. Um, yeah, it's seven pounds. How did you do that, Megan? <laughs> well, I'm pretty strong myself, Jesse. But today's Bible story is about a man named Samson who was very strong. Could he lift heavy weights? Oh, yes. He knocked down a building with his bare hands. Let me tell you the story. God's people kept getting into trouble. They disobeyed God again and again. Each time, God let their enemies have power over them. Now the Israelites were being ruled by the Philistines. One day, the angel of the Lord spoke to two of God's people. He said that they were going to have a son who would save Israel from the Philistines. God had special instructions for their son. He should never cut his hair. The woman had a baby and she named him Samson. God made Samson very strong. When Samson grew up, he met a woman named Delilah. Samson fell in love with her. The Philistine leaders wanted to know why Samson was so strong, so they asked Delilah to help them find out. Delilah asked Samson, why are you so strong? Samson said, if you tie me up, I will be weak. But that was not true. Delilah tied up Samson. When she said, Samson, the Philistines are here to get you, Samson broke free. Delilah asked Samson again, why are you so strong? Samson told Delilah, if you weave my hair into a loom, I will be weak. But that was not true. Delilah wove Samson's hair into a loom. When she said, Samson, the Philistines are here to get you, Samson broke free. Delilah begged Samson to tell her the truth. So Samson did. If you cut my hair, I will be weak. When Samson was sleeping, a Philistine man came and cut his hair. Delilah woke up Samson. Samson, she said, the Philistines are here to get you. But Samson was not strong anymore. The Philistines grabbed him and took him away in chains. Over time, Samson's hair began to grow back. One day, the Philistines made Samson stand between two columns in their temple. Samson cried out to God, and God made Samson strong again. Samson pushed on the columns, and the temple fell down. Samson and everyone in the temple died, but Samson had saved God's people from the Philistines. Samson died because of his sin, but God used Samson's death to help his people. Samson reminds us of Jesus. Jesus never sinned, but he died for our sin. Jesus died and rose again to rescue God's people from sin and give them life with God forever.